the president of the Pacific Regional Branch of the International Council on Archives, members of the Habika Executive Bureau, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, Bulavinaka and warm greetings to each and every one of you present here this morning, and thank you for the kind words of welcome. I sincerely extend you all warm greetings on behalf of the Permanent uh, Secretary for Education, who unfortunately cannot be with you this morning uh, due to um, urgent um, attention that he needs to uh, attend to this morning. I also extend our warm greetings on behalf of the government of Fiji and the people of Fiji Islands. And I hope you are enjoying your stay uh, so far. On the same note, I'm also privileged to welcome you all to the 17th Biennial Conference of the Pacific Regional Branch of the International Council on Archives. Indeed, the aims of your organization are quite profound. This being to establish, maintain, and strengthen relations between archivists of the region and between all institutions, professional bodies, and organizations which are concerned with the administration or preservation of records and archives. To promote all measures of the, for the preservation of the archival heritage of, of the region through the sharing of experiences research and ideas on professional archival and records management matters. To also facilitate the use of archives in the region by encouraging public education and encouraging greater ease of access, something that we in Fiji are still learning to do. To stimulate, to stimulate organize, and co coordinate activities to support record keeping and archives in the region and to cooperate with other organizations or institutions concerned with the documentation of human experience and the use of that documentation for the benefit of mankind. These, ladies and gentlemen, are very worthwhile goals, and I commend you for setting your sights so high. In today's world of information overload, fake news, and alternative facts, it is important for a society to have authentic accurate and accessible records as a basis for sound decision making and evidence-based governance. Archivists and record managers are the quiet enablers of good governance and sustainable development. Without securing and making accessible, valid, and accurate information, other parties would not be in a position to successfully perform their assigned tasks. For example, a local school, Queen Victoria School, is one of the oldest and largest schools in Fiji, which has produced many leading figures in the Fiji development journey. It was one of the schools badly damaged when tropical cyclone Winston hit Fiji last year. Efforts to reconstruct the school hit a major snag when the government builders could not locate copies of the original blueprint for the school. Only after inquiring with archives was the blueprint secured and reconstruction carried out at the school. And to date, KBS has since resumed the important work of molding young minds to be productive contributors in society. Ladies and gentlemen, there is also a similar story of the restoration of works for Fiji Parliament chambers. Engineering consultants were not able to locate copies of original plans for Parliament until they asked the archives. The plans were then furnished and they were able to pain, painstakingly restore it to its former glory. Parliament is now at this moment in session, which is why the PS is not here, with intense debate and exploration which are required in a de democratic nation. The third example is the re of the recent consolidation of the laws of Fiji. Over time, the laws of Fiji have undergone numerous amendments, making it difficult to understand exactly which law is applicable in a given situation. 
The team which was established to address this issue also hit a snag. They couldn't find a large portion of earliest versions of the laws to be able to properly track how the laws had changed. In fact, they were stuck until again they asked the archives. The archives were able to give them everything that they needed. And in December of last year, the Consolidated Laws of Fiji was launched, making it much easier and swifter for lawyers and the courts to take relevant action on matters of concern. This example, ladies and gentlemen, clearly demonstrate two constructing yet critical ideologies. One, that archives and record management systems are needed for work to be carried out in an orderly fashion. And secondly, that decision makers often place archives and records management as a backstop, the last resort, and afterthought. This is why despite their crucial role, archives and records management continue to receive minimal attention and funding. Hence, I find your theme of archives engage personal, professional, politi political to be very pertinent. It tells me that maybe it is time to come out of the repository or stack room. It tells me that the only way to be, not to be an afterthought is to find ways to be in the front of people's mind. To help you do that, a strong program has, has been put together for the next few days. You will hear from Dr. Joe Hanshin on how Archive supports the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals 2030. This is a very useful to demonstrate how your work is essential to the sustainable development aspirations of your country. This is an avenue for winning attention and finding funding. You will hear from each other on how to collaborate with the other agencies and units on joint projects. You will discover how archivists and record managers are engaging at a, at a strategic level to build alliances for capacity building and even for new archives buildings. You'll hear about exciting developments on digital audiovisual collections and how community engagement and trust building can help save important cultural knowledge. You will also have access to leading world experts on heritage documents through the UNESCO Memory of the World Workshop on implementing the UNESCO recommendation concerning the preservation of, access to, and documentary heritage in the digital era. In conclusion, you have the opportunity to make connections with each other. There are so many of you here in one place. Take the time to say he hello. Person-to-person -person exchange may be the most valuable thing you take from this conference, but I'm sure it won't be the only thing. I hope you make the very mo most of this next few days and return home ready to position your archive as the trusted source of information for your organization or jurisdiction and prime to find and capitalize on engagement opportunities. With these few words, it gives me great pleasure to officially open the 17th Biennial Public Conference. Binaka, thank you.